Putin's war on Ukraine has the Russian oligarchs losing power. The billionaire businessmen who control state power. Sanctions are punishing Russia's wealthiest business people. Chelsea football club owner and Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich is looking to sell his football club, while yachts and luxury jets of others are also being seized. Huge pressure on Putin from the most powerful people in Russia. Take a look. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders who built billions of dollars off this violent regime, no more. The United States... I mean it. The super billionaires of Russia, numbering a mere handful, more commonly known as the oligarchs, have vast fortunes roughly equal to the wealth of the entire Russian population of 144 million people. Studies say some 800 billion US dollars are held by these wealthy Russians in offshore banking centers around the world. And that is the target that Western democracies are going after. We treffen das System Putin dort, wo es getroffen werden muss, eben nicht nur wirtschaftlich und finanziell, sondern in seinem Machtkern. Und deswegen listen wir nicht nur Oligarchen, deswegen haben wir nicht bereits zahlreiche Abgeordnete, die diese Schritte vorbereitet haben, gelistet, sondern wir listen jetzt auch den Staatspräsidenten Herrn Putin und den Außenminister Herrn Lavrov. Sie sind verantwortlich dafür, dass unschuldige Menschen in der Ukraine sterben. Sie Sie sind dafür verantwortlich, dass das internationale System mit Füßen getreten wird. Und das nehmen wir als Europäerinnen und Europäer nicht hin. Wir haben zudem zahlreiche Maßnahmen ergriffen mit Blick auf das Finanzsystem. Wir äh, sanktionieren große, große Banken. Wir haben etliche Bereiche im Wirtschaftsbereich mit Embargos äh, belegt, damit wir deutlich machen, das hat individuelle Auswirkungen, das hat Auswirkungen wirtschaftlicher Natur, das wird die Zukunft Russlands gefährden. The super-rich of Russia have three common pet luxury investments. Yachts, soccer clubs and luxury mansions. Soon after the sanction announcements, German authorities reportedly seized the $600 million super yacht belonging to Russian billionaire Alisher Usmanov in a Hamburg shipyard. Usmanov's 156-meter yacht Dilbar is regarded as the largest motor yacht in the world. It needs a crew of 96 to sail and has space for 24 passengers in 12 suites. Dilbar has the largest pool ever installed on a yacht, as well as two helipads, a sauna, a beauty salon, and a gym. The Russian metal tycoon, worth an estimated $14 billion plus, recently sold his stake in the British soccer club Arsenal for a reported 700 million US dollars. Roman Abramovich is not on any sanctions list yet, but this Russian oligarch with a net worth estimated at more than 13 billion dollars announced that he is selling Chelsea, the Premier League football club that he owns. His 19 years of ownership turned Chelsea into an elite trophy-winning machine. Chelsea is not his only prized possession. Now a dual Israeli-Russian citizen, Abramovich has used his fortune to buy homes in London and New York. He and his now ex-wife frequently socialized with Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, the daughter and son-in-law of former US President Donald Trump. Abramovich also owns what is said to be the world's most expensive super yacht, the 455 foot long Solaris. It features a helicopter hangar, tennis courts, pools, and berths for about 100 guests and crew. It was completed in 2021 at an estimated cost of $600 million. Solaris is anchored in Barcelona, Spain. In fear of their possessions being seized, some Russian oligarchs have already started moving their super yachts to safer waters. Vagit 
Alekperov's galactic supernova left the Spanish shores to arrive in Montenegro. Alekperov is also not on any sanctions list yet. At least five other super yachts owned by Russian billionaires are anchored or cruising in and around Maldives. The Clio super yacht owned by Oleg Deripaska, the founder of aluminium giant Rusal, was seen anchored of the capital Malé before moving to the archipelago of the coast of Sri Lanka. Following the imposition of severe Western sanctions on Russia, Oleg Deripaska was sanctioned by the US in 2018. Co-founder of steel producer Evraz Alexander Abramov's yacht Titan arrived at Maldives shores on Sunday. Three more yachts owned by Russian billionaires were seen cruising in the Maldives. They include the 88-meter Nirvana owned by Russia's richest man Vladimir Putin. Putin's alleged cronies, the Russian super-rich, are fearing the loss of their yachts and private jets as well as the freezing of their assets. As Western democracies try and exert pressure, heating out at oligarchs to make Putin pay for his misadventures in Ukraine.